Hi, my name is Houston Haynes. We're here to show how the SmartAV Tango works as a front end to Steinberg's new window. In this video, we're going to demonstrate some of the transport controls, as well as some of the other functions that reside on the right-hand side of the main console. We'll also demonstrate some of the alternate functions for the jog wheel, both using hardware and touchscreen edit panel modifiers that make for powerful and efficient editing in new window. First, there's the transport section. As you can see here, there's a very smooth and solid jog wheel, two rows of buttons laid out across the top, and another vertical row of buttons referred to as smart locators. The first row of buttons over the jog wheel are for basic transport, and only light up when they're active. The top row of buttons have default functions assigned right out of the box that should work for most situations, but they can also be reprogrammed to function differently in a range of contexts. By default, the first and last buttons chase to the left and right locators on the new window timeline. The left and right locators are also set by the shift key in conjunction with the same buttons. The nudge controls function differently based on the primary time format. When in timecode mode, the nudge buttons push the cursor back and forth by one frame. When in bars and beats mode, they shift the cursor by one measure. This is handy for those of us that switch between scoring and post-editing modes. The last two buttons simply advance the cursor to the previous and next markers in the new window timeline. If there's no marker before or after the position that the cursor is currently in, then the, the cursor either goes to the beginning of the timeline or goes to the end of the last event. The Smart Locator buttons allow you to store and locate the time code positions independent from the markers that are set on the new window marker track. The first Smart Locator acts as a return to zero control. The other four Smart Locators are soft assignable, allowing you to save a memory location that the Tango will chase to anytime the button is later activated. When new window is playing, pressing a Smart Locator button will jump to its assigned position and continue playback. In any other transport mode, activating the Smart Locator will chase to that assigned position and simply stop. When you want to set a location, simply press and hold the desired button for a few moments, and the place in the timeline will be stored under that button. Note that every locator that has a saved location is now backlit, and can be reset to a new location at any time. This is very useful for setting temporary points of reference that are distinct from the markers that are part of the project. To the left of the transport area are navigational buttons, along with the search, enter, and shift button that we've already seen. The other two buttons are wheeled modifiers. Again, these are programmable like most of the buttons on this panel. By default, the left modifier key causes the jog wheel to zoom in and out. The second modifier allows the jog wheel to jump through the markers on the timeline. There are other wheel modifiers in the edit panels that can change the behavior of the jog wheel in very useful ways. Under the post edit panel, there are six wheel modifiers for setting event volume, fade in and out, nudging events on the timeline, and setting event start and end locations. The navigation and enter buttons work much the same way as the keys on your keyboard. Enter can be used to open the default editor for an event type, as well as commit values in closed dialog boxes on the fly. The search key can be set to a number of functions. In most cases, it's set to bring up the pool window, but can also be used to bring up the media bay as well as the loop and sound browsers. And of course, can execute any other new window remote command. So that's it for a quick tour of Tango's transport and jog wheel modifiers. There's a ton of things that you can do with the remote command set in Nuendo and Cubase through the Tango's edit panels, but we're out of time. Check out our other videos and keep an eye on smartav.net for more information and feature updates. And thanks for watching.